what's up guys welcome back to my channel how have you guys been I know I haven't been um, posting out videos for a while now but I'm back yeah I'm this video I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair into piggy tail bands so let's get on with it I'm first of all going to um, take down my two stilts and my hair was a total mess. I needed to do something to it <laughs> real quick before it's something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the twist out and um, comb it out. Let's see what I'm working with. And the fact that it was twisted out honestly did help me a lot because the shrinkage is real and when you have your hair probably braid it out to sit out whatever it kind of helps it stretch a little bit so now I'm gonna go ahead and pat my hair into two separate parts and I'm trying as much as I can to see that I'm not making this look as perfect as it should or sleek as it should because I'm gonna be using a um, what's it called a false Fox is a fox or false <laughs> um, extensions. So I would definitely make my hair look as natural as I can. Now I'm going in with the gorilla glue. The glue. <laughs> I'm going going in with that and then um, sewing it out with my got to be gel which honestly always helps my hair keep intact each time I, I try to use a gel in it. And then brush it up and put it in a bun. I'm actually taking it a little bit far behind because I want it to be behind my hair. Like I said, I did not try to make it as perfect as I can. I'm gonna do the same thing to do the side of the hair. Spray it out with water. Put in my guts of my gorilla gel and then the guts of gel. And yeah, there you have it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and touch it up with um, my guts of the places that needed to be um, laid a little bit more. And do my edges, whatever is left of it. <laughs> You're working on those edges, guys. You're doing it. We are doing it. Now I'm putting in my extensions. And I just sprayed it with uh, my pure oils. I love that product so much, guys. It helps me a whole lot with different things. Whether I have my hair in braids or whatever it is, it comes in handy. And um, yes, this bun isn't that good. I'm not gonna stress over it. I'm just gonna go ahead with this second bun and fix that one later. And yeah, I'm just gonna fix it all out and see what it looks like. If you notice I haven't tied up my hair yet. Like I said I'm trying to get um, my hair to look super close to the extension that I'm using. So yes that's why I haven't tied it up yet. But I'll do that just in a second and now I am done with the um, extensions and then I go ahead and spray that yes guys this is it I'm here all tied up <laughs> my hair all tied up on it and I kind of had this on for a while I kind of forgot that I had something tied up in my hair and trying to take it out it's kind of stuck to my hair and I'm like oh my god and one of the reasons I don't like having my hair tied up for long is that because my edges are, I have some issues with my edges 
it kind of gives me some kind of indentations but I'm gonna fix that don't worry so here we go uh, it came out good and this is what it looks like close view You see the indentation I was talking about? Yeah, right there. And it kind of has some kind of um, um, shine to it. And if you look, you will see that my hair, it's kind of close to the, the extension it, that I'm using in terms of texture. So, yes. Now I'm gonna go in with this my pure oil product and spray on that shiny end so they can look the same way as the other ones. And yeah, basically that is what I do as fast as that. And if I wanna put my hair in a bun, so this I'm just gonna let it sit and. By the time it's all settled in, everything will be the same way. So, guys, this is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and click on the post notification button. And, yes, I will see you guys in my next video. This is it. Bye.